Hello, Lolas. <laughs> so I'm back with Hannah. Hannah is also the Duane sculpt, but she's the Duane asleep. And she is also reborn by Claire Teller herself. Um, the sculpt is Duane asleep by Claire Teller. Um, so I am going to put her on this yellow. Most babies cannot wear yellow, so she may not look good in it. Um, and she has, again, hat hair too, because her and her brother had on matching Sesame Street hats, which was given to me years ago by my friend, a dolly friend, um, Crystal. So, and I still have them because I won't give them, get rid of them. Um, I've always, I was always into Sesame Street and she was always into Mickey Mouse, which she is actually the one who started Disney Monday. But, um, because she's such a Disney person. Um, but anyway, I am going to do something with her hair first and... Um, she is painted very similar to her brother or her twin, um, but, um, she does have some subtle differences with her, um, painting and absolutely love it. Um. I'm very, very, very happy to be able to have them. Um, I haven't seen Claire really do reborns. Um, she's mostly known for her silicone babies and she normally get her, have her prototypes done by other artists, but I guess she did her own prototype. Um, she just hadn't finished um, them or put them together when I inquired about them. And I don't know, some few little things she had to finish, I guess, on them. But I was like, hey, whatever happened to these babies? Um, the Dwayne's are now like really becoming, um, the vinyl is becoming a little bit more popular. Um, I'm seeing, well, I'm going to say I'm seeing more of them, but the Dwayne's been around for about two years. Um, I think because of everything, it was multiple ones came out and they had the, the, the silicone out. People just kind of was not really paying attention to the, um, because I get a lot of people messaging me saying they didn't know that that the vinyl that there was a vinyl um, version and I'm like how did you not know but I guess they wasn't really advertised as much um, you know it's just the nature of the community too um, like I notice certain dolls are advertised a lot more like on websites and stuff like that than others um, a lot more stuff goes out in the mailing list and stuff for certain sculptors and stuff like that. So sometimes it's easy to miss stuff, but you know, when you are a, a crazy fan like me that follow everything, I try to keep up, um, I usually try not to miss um, Bonnie Brown, Claire Taylor, Natalie Blick. Even if I don't get the sculpt, I like to see what they're doing. <laughs> I'm trying to give her curly hair too. I'm just trying to see which way to, which way I want to do it. Um, one of the things I, I'm very funny about with my babies is I always like to make sure that they look good from every angle. And then... You know, I know some people, I guess because it's not their work, they don't, 
look at, you know, see how they put the babies out there and stuff like that. And, um, but I always try to show my babies in their best light without exaggerating anything. I like people to see them for what they are. And these babies are absolutely gorgeous. Um, she also does a thing, something similar to what I do as far as like, um, giving the babies a natural glow because, um, especially with ethnic babies, we always lotion and down our babies and, um, the dry, ashy skin just don't, don't work. <laughs> so unfortunately though, when you photograph them or doing video, when the lights hit them, they look like they're extremely shiny. Um, but they're, they're not as shiny as they appear sometimes. Um, I keep saying, um, and I've been checked on that. Someone already told me to stop saying, um, in my videos, you know, you know, you get all these people critiquing everything you do, you know, and it's always funny because it's usually people that don't make videos themselves or don't, you know, not in the social light that have all these rules and regulations and telling you what you can and what you can't do and critiquing everything you do but you know it is it, is different when you actually doing it <laughs> when you when you're the one that's actually making the um the videos when you're the one that's actually having to record and try to you know show the babies and do stuff with them at the same time and try not to cover them up and all that stuff. It, it's, it's very different. Um, let's see. It's very different then. See now, from what I see and from what y'all see, it's so different. Wait. Because she looks so cute, but the camera is showing her from the other side, so maybe I need to turn her to this side. All right. Let me see. Nope. And I still can't really get the gist of her little self. This is a three-month onesie, by the way. That's why it's so it's big on her like that. But anyway. She's a cutie patootie. I'll take pictures of her so that you guys can see her better. One time I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, I told y'all I thought about, oh, I'll just sell one of them. But I can't break them up. I can't break them up. <laughs> But I, I absolutely love her. I love the way she did her tongue. I've never seen someone get the color so perfect. And I can't, I can't get it. I, that is one thing that I do want to try to do is get that tongue, that color. When I do paint my Dwayne, I am going to try to get that tongue color because that is real let me show you her tongue color is so real it's so hard to see and i tell you it don't matter how how much i try to get the the color right you can't really see it but anyway, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up. And I, again, as always, like I said before, I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. I'll have better pictures.